Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Tamlin. I'm Rachel. I'm Ruan. And together we are the, the Northern, Northern Soul, Soul Sisters. Sisters. Welcome back to every... <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to get to the point where we can say that without yeah. laughing? Yeah. Yeah. There will come a point in maybe 2024 where yeah. we'll be relaxed with that. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a really exciting video for you today. We are doing a almost a one fabric three ways, but it's actually three different colorways of the same fabric. So I work in First for Fabrics, which is an amazing fabric shop in the northeast of England. And we have loads of gorgeous fabric. And this is a fabric that we've had in for a little while now. And I loved as soon as we got it in. And I actually bought it as soon as it came in in one of the colorways. And then I was just chatting to Julie at work and she said, how about you and the girls do a little collaboration and use each of the colourways to make something? And that is what we're going to do. So the fabric is a viscose jersey. It's 95% viscose, 5% elastane. I love working with viscose jersey. It's a really forgiving fabric, I find, when you're sewing with it and when you're wearing it. You don't really have to worry too much about fit and it's really comfortable to wear. So, yeah. It's also it. got a lot of stretch as well. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> which, a lot, a lot. which is just. I could just do with a bit of stretch right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what we need. Fair. I'm happy with that. So, oh. we'll each show you the colourways of the fabric that we have gone for, and then we'll each tell you the pattern that we're going to be sewing it up into. But, very excitingly, we would like you to join us and for you to sew up this fabric as well if you would like to. So, First for Fabrics are offering a discount code of 10% off. The price of the fabric so it's usually 11.95 a meter and the 10 percent off takes it down to 10.75 a meter which is awesome value yeah, and the code that you need to enter into the checkout is nss10 and that will take 10 percent off just these three fabrics not anything else in your order and that code is valid while stocks last or until the end of july 2023 Hmm. So, yeah. time. so hopefully yeah. we'll do this video we'll get it out to you you'll be able to use that discount code and then we'll also reveal our makes way before the end of july hopefully <laughs> <laughs> and that is the plan we'll anyway <laughs> so and we're really keen to see what other people come yeah. up with as well what the patterns yeah. they use this for because i must Definitely. say i'm always viscose jersey is a great fabric as you say but i'm always sometimes quite nervous about using it because it's it can exactly show up lumps and bumps yep. Yep. depending on the pattern that you yep. choose yep. and i think lots of us feel you know that makes us feel a little bit self-conscious yep. so i'm really interested to get some inspiration from the Definitely. rest of the community about what patterns you use for viscose jersey what works yeah. for you i'm exactly the same i don't have much viscose jersey in my stash yeah i love it i think it's beautiful but and i'm all right making a top i yeah, think yeah. but because i think my waist and my hips are my area that i'm like oh it's a it's quite difficult to fit that sometimes i don't want the fabric to cling to that area yeah, yeah. so then i tend to steer away from it and think oh no i won't i'll go for some woven or something more a bit more structured like cotton jersey but yeah. so this is a good test this because mm. i love viscose yeah. jersey but yeah I very rarely use it so I'm looking forward to this one. Excellent so we have each chosen a pattern I'll go first so the fabric design has all of these beautiful sort of leaves on almost so looks gorgeous. like coral I think like, yeah, you know like yeah. underwater yes. um, so mine has a black background and then it's got like magenta and different shades of blue and white and then like a brownie kind of colour yeah. on it Gorgeous. So I bought two meters of this because originally my plan was actually to make the kilo wrap dress by named, which I've made a few times now and I absolutely love. But then Mimi G has released a pattern. Well, it's a simplicity pattern. It is Mimi G actually. <laughs> <laughs> She's released a pattern and she put a picture of this on her Instagram mm. and I just absolutely fell in love. I think the girls straight away yeah. sent it over to me and they were yeah. like, you have to make this. Yeah. So that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so it's S9778 and I've got the K5 size range, which is from sizes eight to 16. It does come in a 16 to 26 size range as well. This is the pattern. Oh. It's just it's gorgeous. so nice, isn't it? So the pattern it comes in two different lengths. You've got the longer skirt and you've got the shorter skirt. You've got a lovely twist detail at the front. So if you watched the latest series of the Great British Sewing Bee, the first episode had all of these twist detail mm. um, and cutout dresses. So this is perfect for fitting in with that. And then you've got this like 
tummy section that is revealed here and then you've got some elastic that brings in the waistline a little bit as well yeah. so i'm going to make the longer version and yeah i'm really really excited about it i think it's beautiful I think I'll need to suck my tummy in, but it's fine. <laughs> and uh, I think you're gonna look I think this fabric now. is really going to work yeah. for that pattern. The hopefully Rachel might put a, a picture in of Mimi G in her version that's on the uh -huh. her Instagram page because she's used a pattern fabric and it looks incredible. Obviously here she's just wearing it in plain fabric, but which looks great, but in a pattern fabric it looks incredible. It really it's knockout. So yes, so I'm very excited to actually get this sewn up. It says it's an easy pattern, so there's also a sew along on YouTube by Mimi G. So yeah, I'm excited to get started. Fantastic. Good stuff. Okay, shall I go? Back? Yes. Okay, so the pattern I'm making, I haven't got it with me, but I will put an image in of it, is the Sew Over It Estelle dress, which is mm. another pattern that they say is designed for confident beginners. It's for lightweight knit fabrics, such as Discuss Jersey, which is obviously what we've got. Comes in sizes 6 to 30, but they've got it in two separate blocks. So the size 6 to 20 is a B cup block, mm. and the 18 to 30 is a D cup block block which mm -hmm. I think is really good that they use different blocks yeah, for I the do. different size ranges. Uh, there's two versions for this dress. Version one is has got like a pegged skirt and then the version two has got is like a little bit wider I and know yeah that. and it's got side yeah you know it's sort of like with a straightish skirt yeah. it curves towards mm -hmm. your knees. Yeah. Um and then the second version has side splits um, and it's a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to go for version one because I just prefer a bit more sexy. <laughs> anyway, um, and it's got this really lovely tie detail mm. at the side as well, which I think is a really lovely yes. feature. And I think because of that, I might be able to hide my mum tongue, yeah. which is, is going to be awesome. We love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it does have two inches of negative ease on it, which, obvi it. Yeah, which obviously a lot of jersey patterns do because they're designed to fit Pocky you body, and hook your body. They, yeah. And obviously you can alter the sleeve length as well. So obviously it's got three versions, like a short sleeve like this t-shirt and then um, just below elbow, I think, and full length. I haven't decided yet what mm. I'm gonna do with that, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll see how we, how we get on with it. So you need between 2.4 and, and 3.55 meters of 150 centimeter wide fabric for this dress, depending on the type the, well, the size that you are making mm. and I have got three meters here mainly because I will need to lengthen it because I'm, I do want it sort of midi mm. length I think but the version of this gorgeous fabric I've got is this colourway. Hello. <laughs> Piper Piper joining us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've, I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous colourway, and it's in different colour greens with teal and this lovely sort of mustardy, opaline, yellow and white. And it's on a black base, black background. It's absolutely Beautiful. gorgeous. Really lovely. It's got gorgeous stretch to it in all directions, but really good recovery as well, which obviously is important for these types of garments, isn't it? So nobody wants it bagging out over the course of the day. Why? <laughs> you know, this is twice now. We've had two planes that have come We've over. We've had two planes. Sniper's come back from his wall. Yeah. The perils are filming outside. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's natural, uh, normal. Okay, so <laughs> yes. So I haven't, as I say, I haven't decided which sleeve length I'm going to go for, but yeah. uh, I mean, what do you think? I, I think know. I think it's going to really suit you. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I might go for the sort of elbow length. Yeah, I, I don't really want to do the short sleeve. You're not a big fan of ones that are no. kind of in the middle, are you? No, I'm not, yeah. because I just think it emphasises, yeah. cuts you at the wrong You don't like part. them here, do you? No, yeah. not at all. And yeah, so I think I'll probably go for the elbow, just below yeah. elbow length. I quite like that length sleeve yeah. on me. Yeah. Long sleeve, I think, will limit my options as to what time of year I can wear it. Yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's probably what I'll end up going for. But yes, I'm really it's excited. Like I am. I'm yeah. really excited yeah. to see what you look like in it because I think you're gonna. I think it's gonna really suit your body type as well. Yeah. I love that little knot. So. Yeah, really yeah. Really it's really yeah. yeah, really like it. Yeah. Right. So I'm next. So I'll talk you through my fabric. This is my colourway. So mine's also on a black background. I think are they all on a yeah, black background? They are, they are, aren't they? Yeah. So this is mine on a black background and it's got um, different colour like rust, oranges, browns, white, and then it's got like a taupey colour and then this really quite vibrant like pinky lilac yeah. colour, hasn't it? Which is, is unusual. Yeah. You wouldn't put that, I don't think, normally with those no. colours, but I think it really lifts it. Does, it really works. I think it could be quite dull otherwise, or it'd be, you know, really autumnal, whereas mm. I think with those 
splashes of pink mm. and pinky lilac. I think you can yeah. get away with it any time of the year. So I love that. And I think when I put that up against oh, me, I like the colour way so of that. A lot. Yes. Absolutely. Which is quite interesting when Tamlin mentioned it to us because we were like, there is literally a perfect fabric for yes. each of us. We yes. would pick these ones, I think, wouldn't we, yeah, if we had a choice? Definitely. So yeah. yeah. So now that Tamlin is not doing the kilo wrap dress, I've stolen her <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Tamlin, I'll have that. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not, um, very confident in making dresses in this girl's jersey for the reasons I said earlier because I do find that it clings quite a bit to my body and I'm a bit conscious of certain areas but I'm going to make the kilo wrap dress by named clothing because I think that's quite a nice pattern because it ties in the middle so again I haven't got a visual to show you so hopefully Rachel will pop a couple of pictures in but it's really nice it comes in two versions now as well so you can get it well it's all the same pattern but you can um have either a dress or a jumpsuit mm. so i think they updated it a couple of years ago didn't they um and they did a jumpsuit version as well yeah. now when it, you look at the pattern you look at the fabric that it's recommended it is recommending jersey but i have seen people make them in wovens yes. as well yes you can it doesn't yeah. actually say anything about that in the pattern but that's quite interesting i wonder does if it, it does not? because not on the internet but i wonder whether uh, it does on the physical mm. pattern well the original kilo because the, the as you say they've updated mm. the version the and i bought it woven. yes it yeah. was when i bought it when it came out and mm. it, back then it said you could use it for woven yeah. or jersey yeah. so but it didn't mm. say that anywhere on the website when i was looking unless yeah. i missed that but um yeah my i've got a copy of it at home and i'm sure it says something about mm. woven in it so i'm going to do the dress version not the jumpsuit version um and again i'm not too sure on the length i've gone for more fabric i think i've got three meters as well yeah. so that i can make that decision um, I'm going to do the short sleeve version, so it comes with two sleeve options, either sleeveless, which is then finished with a bias binding, or you can have sleeves, and I'm, you can kind of make the sleeves whatever length you want, I suppose, can't you? Um, but it has a neckband as well, whereas the jumpsuit doesn't, it has a facing, because mm -hmm. um, obviously you need to be able to get it on over your head, whereas mm. with the dress, if you've got the neckband, it makes it a little bit easier, I think. And then they have on the dress like a little um, split at the back as well yeah. to be able to, so you don't walk like a penguin. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I'm going to make it maybe in the longer version and then see what I think. I have made a couple of other jersey dresses before in the longer version and didn't particularly like them on myself and ended up cutting them short. So I'm right. not sure what I'm going to do yet. But anyway, the kilo wrap dress comes in sizes 4 to 28. So it goes up to a bust of 52 and 3 quarter inches, waist of 46 and a half and hips of 56. But I think your waist measurement really doesn't matter, does it? Because no. you'll see from the photos and you've probably seen it all on Instagram that it's the flying squirrel yeah. pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Where you hold your <laughs> arms out and you've got a huge amount. So I have made it before probably about three years ago I made the sleeveless short version and that was when I was a lot smaller so I'm gonna have to probably reboot the pattern and do my size now but yeah I'm gonna see how I get on with doing I think the short version short sleeve mm. version and then maybe the longer but we'll wait and see but yeah so it talks about drapey but sturdy fabric jersey fabric so it has to have between 30 and 50 percent stretch but what it does say is try not to go for one that's too heavy yeah because if you have a really heavy jersey viscose it will distort the pattern and i have seen that before sometimes yeah. when people have made made the long version mm. there's a lot of weight isn't there dragging yes, down on is, it yeah very similar to when i made the nomi dress that's the mm. last viscose jersey dress i made which was the sew over it one and i found it was pulling my waistline yeah. the bodice waistline down because of how heavy the fabric was mm. and yeah. how long mm. it was so we will see but that's what i'm gonna have a go at and the best thing for me is that this pattern is drafted for five foot eight yeah. Yay. Yes. <laughs> which is my height so i'm not gonna have to do any work to it Amazing. to lengthen it so i'm i'm happy for it. but yes so that's what i'm gonna make it I'm really excited. Yeah, really I excited am. to get started. Yeah. So yes. my fabric's already been pre-washed, so I can pretty much get started oh, straight away. I know. So that's good. not fair. Oh. I'm going to go and take my name today and put it in the washer. Yeah, it's nice definitely. here. It's nice and warm here, isn't it, in Yorkshire? Yeah, so it should it be dry in no time whatsoever. How do you dry your Visco's jersey, though? So I tend to probably wrongly hang it over the door frame in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and just kind of shift it around a bit to make yeah. sure that it's not on the corners. Yeah. Um, or if it is, if it's dry enough to have it outside, then I'll peg it out. Because they've talked before, haven't they, about drying it flat? And I'm like, how do you dry yeah. three meters of fabric yeah, that is, you know, one and a half meters wide? How do yeah. you dry that flat? You yeah. can't, can you? 
And I think so. cutting it, I always tend to cut this type of fabric with a rotary cutter yeah. rather than scissors because it moves around so yeah. much, doesn't it? And it's so drapey yeah. that it's easy when you're trying to cut it with scissors with your pattern pieces to stretch it out and, yeah. and you end up then making loads of errors with it. So yeah. Yeah. I do tend to prefer using a rotary cutter for this. We're and are we going to... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go on. I was just going to say we're going to use Mariflex thread as well Ooh. for making it. I think we should yeah. probably, shouldn't we? Yeah. 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 Um, are we having the leaves going upwards? Oh, that's a very good Because it definitely eye. has a direction. Does, so I, that looks to me like the direction, whereas I've got it upside down. Well, in my eyes. Yeah. But maybe, I think yeah, the so leaves should go way. up. So we're yeah, going up. Yeah, yeah. So as long as we all have a good <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you did it the other way, you know, if, if that's if you're going to buy this fabric yourself and you prefer it, have I done that? Wrong? Yeah, yeah, upside down. You can it do it. Like that as it well, works. But I think as long for, as we all agree, for the three I think of us, right. we need I, to I make think sure. I prefer it going up. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. So we shall do that. Yes. But obviously, that's something just to bear in mind. If you get this fabric, you know, and you are going to make something with it, just decide on a, an orientation yeah. and go with it yeah. for all your pack Definitely. pieces. Yeah. Well, thank you so much to First to Fabrics for providing the fabrics for these and I'm really excited to see our finished dresses. We are aiming to get these done within a couple of weeks. We are, yeah. I aiming. Think we should, yeah, I think we should be able to get I think them. so. Yeah. We're going to do this. I think we're all quite keen on making these dresses yes. as well, aren't we? So yeah. I think it's going to go to the top of our list. So yeah, definitely. I think it'll prompt us to kind of get it done. Definitely. Yeah, and I think Jersey Jersey projects tend to be a bit quicker yeah. to construct, don't yeah, they, yeah. than you won't, because you don't have as many fitting challenges with yeah. Jersey. So. Mine's just the cutting out, because yeah. they are big, they are big pieces. pieces. <laughs> yes, I think that's going to be an on the floor way. job, isn't it, yeah. type of thing, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, thank you so much for watching today. Remember, if you want to go and buy some of this fabric, use the code NSS10. We will link to the fabrics in the description box and you can head over and find those straight away. But we'd love to hear your pattern ideas for Viscose Jersey. Yes. Let us know your favorite dress patterns or other patterns for Viscose Jersey and let's all inspire each other. Yeah, that sun's really starting to get it my I know, it is now, it's time to go. So we'll see you again very soon in our next video. Bye. Bye.